Guys, a question that I get asked all the time is what the hell is this huge thing that's, you know, behind me right now? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Is <laughs> is huge. Well, I'm about to tell you what it is. <laughs> It's gonna be a cup of review. My name is Shut up! Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna to talk about a photographer's best friend. It's not the camera. I know everybody thinks that it's a camera. It's not actually. What I'm gonna talk about is light. Photography is essentially manipulating light to get the image or the picture that you see on a piece of paper or on a digital JPEG. Oh. If you have bought a really expensive camera or if you have a really nice camera and if you if you were having buyer's remorse which is essentially regretting that purchase most probably actually 95% of the time it's not the camera's fault it's the fault of light have you ever like have you ever noticed whenever you are in like a, a good like in a very bright situation where there's plenty of light coming in from windows or you're outside have you ever noticed that your phone takes really nice pictures as opposed to your camera i mean i've had this conversation with a lot of people that you know shoot on their phones they're like oh the picture on my phone is actually nicer than the camera which is not entirely true but that picture that was taken at that time is probably better than your camera because there was appropriate light and that's what you need to understand about photography it's about how you manipulate light for example look what happens if i turn this off and just have the window light or the light in my room just look what happens It's not that great, isn't it? It's, it's a little weird. Actually, it's really bad. Okay, this is the same camera setup, right? Same setting, same camera. The problem, I'm just using the lights in my room. It's, it's really horrible. I didn't change the camera, I just changed the lights and the picture went from really nice to really not nice. This is what you really want, right? So that's, what I'm, that's, that's the point I'm trying to make. This is the best investment that I've made, period. If I had bought this 100,000 rupee light setup before I upgraded to my A7 III, I would not have bought my A7 III because there was so much more that I could do. Because before this, I was working all the time in low light conditions and I was using, I was didn't have the appropriate lights. So that's why I bought my A7 III because it handled uh, low light situations better. But even in situations where I was shooting low light and I had this behemoth of a camera, there were still missing elements. I was always wondering why isn't this picture looking amazing? Or why isn't this video looking very cinematic? And it's because I couldn't control the light. All I'm trying to say is learn how to use light and how light makes everything just better. The only difference that the camera does as opposed to uh, a phone is just it uh, is technically a better performer uh, when there isn't much light so it's a lot more sensitive so you can you know get a better picture during the evening or with the low light conditions that's when your camera is you know is essentially better than your smartphone so the next time you're gonna buy a camera or like invest a lot of money in buying a camera think about the lights you know what take your phone out and just point the camera at places that you're going to shoot and then see if you're getting that effect um, before you think about the picture quality or how sharp your image is going to be. So that's what a camera does. The camera increases sharpness, the camera increases the sensitivity to light, but it's up to you to create this scene with lights. Your best friend, a photographer's best friend is light. Okay, I'll catch you guys later.